But again, ladies and gentlemen, a training video, as you can see here, basically from the title that I may or may not put up on here, as well as looking at the push itself, I decided to kind of change up my routine from what I've been doing and do a more of a power builder, even more of a bodybuilder routine because my body is about to break down from doing the same movements over and over again. It was time for me to switch things up. So now, as you can see in this video, I'm focusing more on the movements just to build muscle and maintain my shape, but it's mostly, you know, especially considering that it's going to be a while before the next part of me is going to take place. And I'm trying to snap my stuff up and lose whatever gains I made during this whole quarantine situation. Which then brings up something I'll bring up later on. Actually, what I'll bring up right now is the fact that Greg Obey posted a video earlier today about five things that I can find positive about being on quarantine. And that's how six. The first one, of course, would be actually having the necessary tools at home to train and actually have more time to actually train like I am right now. So, of course, I have the earthquake bars you can see here that I'm using for both incline regular grip and reverse grip. I haven't done that before. So, it's also forcing me to actually change up my routines and do stuff that's different. And as mentioned before, but me actually having some, you know, maybe having different tool sets, I can actually change my routine so I don't end up blowing my joints out from repetitive movements. That's so that was originally my main topic for this video. Is like don't keep doing the same stuff because you will snap the itch up and your gains will slow down. Anyway, kind of going back to this list, another thing that I enjoy that's good is of course I get more rest and more sleep, which of course means more gains. So number one, being able to train and get more time to train. Number two, get more rest and more sleep. And of course, from here, I went right and doing some chest flies. So I did some decline chest flies, as you can see with this device I have right now, which is the Jungle Gym XT version three, which has the fans in there. But that's the only thing I can find recently. I mean, as of now, I probably have some better tools that are out there that can actually give the decent decline chest flies. But that's pretty much the only good band that I can do with this because the tension is not high. So of course this is like just good enough to get a decent pump in. I had to set this with some incline chest presses where it kind of did like a chest fly because I had the reverse grip. And that's something else that some people need to pay attention to when using bands. Make sure you have enough tension and you have proper form. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube recently complaining about the bands not doing anything. When I watch the video I noticed that either A super light bands or their form is, com or their form is complete garbage. Not trying to cut people out but here's the deal. If your form is garbage with the bands, you're not going to need gains. Like if you slam dumbbells around or barbells around with bad form, you're not going to get any gains. It is what it is. Which is why, as you can see, I kind of did lighter, you know, lighter sets now with bands. Of course, the after doing the heavier presses with the bars, doing some semi decline, semi flat presses with bands to really engage the muscles right at the end of the workout. And of course, so I don't get gassed out. I did that to gas up the muscles, not the joints. And speaking about gas, number three. Saving money on gas. That was pretty much a huge benefit to this because as I mentioned earlier, if you were asking me how am I saving gas, here's the deal, I'm working from home. Which goes to my fourth thing to be grateful for. And of course, one good thing about being able to work from home is I can focus more on my job duties, less distractions, less micromanagement, management, less busy work, actual real work, which actually has helped me tremendously at work. So supervisor knows I'm getting a lot more important things done, which is good. I mean, I'll probably be able to tell work more often once this whole like that situation is over with. Okay, and of course, I finished this workout with another change up that I haven't done in a while, which would be messing ball push ups to really isolate the pecs on each side of the body. So that's why you see me doing one side with a hand on the button some ball and one side the hands on the ground. And of course, kind of go up the idea of having a better job situation and saving on gas money. I'm also saving money on haircuts. Because one thing you know is my hair didn't get tremendously long in these videos because I've been cutting my own hair. So basically, yeah, since for my job, I currently am working from home, but I'm doing sorry, doing some meetings through Skype and those sorry Skype type meetings or video meetings online. They're gonna see my head. So I had to pretty much learn real quick in a hurry how to cut my own hair. Well, not the best, it's suitable and it gets the job done. So telling I am saving my money with some haircuts. So now, now I'll probably continue to cut my hair because my haircuts are getting better and more decent looking. So at this point, I'll probably waste my money. And now, back to the lefty, and let's talk. So, the following day was my back day, and in front of you guys on Instagram, here it is, the full back session. So, as you can see, I start off with the, this is band deadlift, so I kind of does a warm-up, starting with, you know, just the bar, and then a few plates on there, and then press to bring the weight up, so I did a triple with 315, then a single four or five, just to get the blood flow going. Actually, it felt good, because I'm coming up being a little snapped up. So, we started having some band work about the band, so 455 came up easy, 405, 505 came up super easy. Fucking went heavy, but you know what? 
As mentioned earlier, I felt super tight throughout the entire week where yesterday was the first day I felt normal again. Like, you know, I'm not going to push it. The weight feels good. I'm just going to work with all I got and move on to the next exercise. You can see here. So, next exercise is actually a super set of hex bar bend of a rolls with hex bar shrug and hex bar shrug. You can see right here. So, summing everything up, basically, I'm grateful for the fact that hey, I can work from home, have less distractions, can work on my job duties. Less people telling me, nagging me about little pace that had nothing to do with my job. Able to actually meet new people. Actually, that'd be number six for bring that up. Number six, being able to meet new people during Zoom meetings that I would never watch other events. And this happened during a couple podcasts that I was in on, as well as the situation that you fit I'll talk about later on. Anyways, doing the uh, Super 7, Ryan doing three sets of pull ups. And from pull ups, I went doing some dumbbell rolls. Now going back to number six would be the Zoom meetings. Yes, yeah, so I actually had a quick Zoom meeting a couple weeks ago with Meteor Leader Sandwich. Have a link to their podcast in the description. So basically, we just talked for a minute. The podcast did not get published because we processed some things we don't want published on YouTube or on podcast or on iTunes. So yeah. Anyway, check out Meteor Leader Sandwich. Had a over with that. I've been on one of their podcasts before, so check them out anyway. So yep, I met a few new people through that. Also, I've been pretty much doing a few meetings with my church. So we've been doing our prayer meetings. So I met a few people from my church I would not have met. Even though I see them at church every day, I would not have met them on a more personal level. And also, which I should tell any concern that Brengo Bay is the one to send me this link. So of course, shout out to Brengo Bay, all arm and all heart. Perfect way to right, pretty much the perfect person to bring up during that topic. And of course, right afterwards, I went right into doing some single arm lap pull downs with the bands. I kind of took this from Scott Tuzanek about his latest back video, the same that I trained back with yesterday, so I did this, as well as some dumbbell pulls I haven't done in the longest. And of course, there's some standard serrated pulls. So I Scott doing it. Okay, look, that gives a good, good way to burn out some slats. And yes, it did, especially when you throw in the real delt, the real delt pulls that I did at the very end. And yes, it burned like crazy even with the band. So that's proof let you know that, hey, as long as you're targeting the muscle properly and have good form, you can actually get a lot of muscle tear down without a whole bunch of weight. Just make sure your form is right. And you actually do have, yet, make sure you have enough to actually feel the resistance, but at the same time, make sure your form is good so you can actually feel the full range of motion. Or most of the full range of motion. And of course, last but not least, while we're talking about Zoom meetings, like I said, yep. Yeah, opportunity to meet a lot of new people. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, Dead Suit Fit, he had the whole wind down talk yesterday, which went on Instagram and Facebook. And those who on Zoom were able to interact with each other during the most majority of the whole discussion. And also, the Zoom was actually being used with Citizen Yoga for some of the class I participate with them online as well as Organic Flow. And of course, Citizen Nation had a few discussions that we had talked to, just talking community. So, community discussions, the Zoom has been definitely been a good thing. So. Definitely you guys want to check that out. Just make sure you have password protection because of the Zoom bots that are out there and the Zoom bombs. And of course, as mentioned earlier, boom, here I am doing the standard serrated pulls, followed by the face pulls. And of course, this is how I finish up this back session. And as I run, I finish up the back session with some face pulls. And the next day, I went right and doing some shoulder presses with the dumbbells you see within a few seconds. Oh, yeah, why have your attention? Take that back, make that seven. Number seven, nothing I'm appreciative to. Or good thing about this whole lockdown situation is the fact that now if you're a gamer, there are pretty much deeply discounted video games on digital distribution as well as some free games. One of them being Aegis Defenders on the Humble Bundle. So for the next two days, you can go to HumbleBundle.com and get Aegis Defenders for free. And Epic Game Store actually has Grand Theft Auto 5 Premium Edition for free. Once again, Grand Theft Auto Premium Edition is free on the Epic Game Store and Humble Bundle has AS Defenders for free this weekend. So yeah. Basically, $50 worth of games are free right now because of the whole pandemic. It's kind of jacked up, but you know, you might have to save money when you got the opportunity. Just like I had the opportunity to train my shoulder, so I decided to go ahead and go back doing some arm pressure. You can see right here to get more of a pump in all heads on my delts. So, yeah, going back to these game stores, yep, HumbleBundle.com. They actually have a decent sale going on right now, along with Epic Game Store. That's where they had the previews out there to kind of have to go to the stores. And of course, you guys already know Steam has a whole bunch of games to sell too. And even Nintendo's eShop has games for sale. And even on top of that, they're even the first party Nintendo games for sale. So that's when you know it's a good time to buy games if you're going to buy. Just saying. But well, anyway, doing the Arnold Presses, 
I went right and doing some handstand push-ups to kind of work on my shoulder strength and of course yoga practicing which is why I'm also figured that's a good time for me to bring up the fact that I will be teaching a yoga class tomorrow which will be Sunday May 17th and actually the entire month of May at noon on Sunday afternoons on Instagram so Sunday afternoon if you have anything to do at noon check me out on Instagram at Jack Geek on Instagram for free yoga for an hour so I'll go ahead and throw that in there because I figured it was the first time to do it and that's why I added in right there with the handstand push-ups which is never though you probably heard a pause. So anyway, I'm doing handstands. I decided to go ahead and do some lateral raises. So I was kind of short on time this morning because I was trying to do your organic flows class as well as dancing fitness class. So I decided to go around and do a super set of lateral raises for five curls. And speaking of your organic flow, they actually are doing their free class on Instagram Monday afternoon at 6 p.m. as well as Wednesday afternoon at 6 p.m. and finally Saturday at 9 a.m. See so how to go ahead and segue that in there. So once again, their classes are at 6 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays at 6 p.m., and then Saturdays at 9 a.m. They'll probably do a few more classes with you once everything opens up. So yeah, there's a few options you guys have. While you're on live now, you can always go to the store, buy some weights, even get some water jars that you see me have in the background. Fill them with some water and use that for light days, especially your shoulders. So make do with what you got. Do some calisthenics, whatever, stay in shape. So as you can see, I decided to do some rear delt flash. I'm that with some front raises, and of course, the fact that I posted this video right before class started on Instagram, I want to dance fit for all of most of my videos just to spite me because, of course, this morning he had us do the same freaking super set and they had another to throw in up our roll. So I'm like, thanks, bro. Thanks a lot. Well, anyway, you guys see here, I got his schedule in the right hand corner. So you guys want to check him out throughout the week, throughout the rest of the month. He has free classes the entire month on dead2fit on Instagram.com. So check him out. His guys are free for the entire month. And there's the schedule. And yeah, once again, WTF, he actually had a super set. We're doing front raises, both arms, then the rear delt flies, and then of course upright rows. And then over prices. So I'm like, dude, whatever. Alright. Enough of me being stupid, so I had to finish up this workout by doing some face pulls. So I did a super set of face pulls with a lot of risk. I wanted to get more side delts in there. So of course he had us do the my freaking Triple threat, which was front raise, loud raise, red double. You know it is what it is. Hey, I want to get more loud raises in there, and I did, whether I want to or not. And that's how you get game by doing the stuff you don't want to do. But once you get it done, you appreciate getting it done. Just all right doing this, I went ahead and did a super set. Uh, pretty much like the tricep bar, so I did a super set of skull crush with close grip bench. And you guys already know I use that bar because I'm not gonna snap my elbows up during that exercise. I have super long arms. And that puts a lot of pressure on my elbows, but with the bar, it's pressing right off of this. So I can go ahead and knock those out. And last but not least, I did some standing try some push downs, defensive the whole routine. Once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe out there. We're almost out of this quarantine, especially if you're in Michigan. It's only two more weeks. Just two more weeks. Don't go crazy. Just two more weeks, and we should be good. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.